Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I'm a spiritual guide in paranormal and depth. The journey continues today on December 28th, 2021 at approximately 8.30 a.m. PST. Well, in case you hadn't noticed, Christmas is over. Hopefully, the period of giving is not. Okay, now, it is up to each and every one of us as to whether we go back to the greedy, self-centered, self-focused way, and in all fairness, self-destructive way that we've lived for oh so long, or whether we turn over a new leaf. Now, we could wait until New Year's Day. Okay, you can put it off until tomorrow. Heck, you can put it off forever and a day if you want. Only the adding a day to forever might be a problem. Okay, but... I came back, I was sent back to this world this uh, at, on this lifetime for one primary purpose, and that is to reach out to every entity in existence and remind you that working together we can make this a better world, okay? But that said, it is going to take everybody to make this happen. Now, if you like our video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, because we continue to bring this message back. And yes, I repeat myself quite frequently. Find that I do that a lot when I'm talking to myself anyway. But the, the reality is, it's time to join together. That being said, absolutely. Yes, in case you hadn't noticed, itchy hands, whole nine yards, don't know why. The reality is that working together, and that means each and every one of us, have the same responsibility. And that is to work with each other to help make this a better world for virtually everybody. Now, understanding that obviously finances are important. Okay, they are what runs every household. They are not what runs the home. But you can postpone until tomorrow to do what you will. Today is the 28th, and for me, for my household, this is the day that we start wrapping up Christmas and putting things back to back to the semblance of everyday running. Okay, so we start with the basics. And that is, take a look where you're standing right here, right now. Because this is the only time in existence that you're going to be able to do anything. You can put it off until tomorrow. You can talk about what you should have done last week or last year or whatever. Okay, and we can continue looking out the back door, out the back window. But think of it this way. If you're, if you're constantly looking out the back window instead of out the front window, put yourself in a vehicle. Now look out the back window while you try and drive forward. Okay, if you're constantly looking out the back window, you're going to run into snags, amongst other things. And, you know, in a manner of speaking, well, in a pretty literal sense, the people that go, you know, if, tell you, if, you, if you don't know about it or if you don't see it coming, you can't, you can't, you will not. Let's try English. What you don't see can't hurt you. The number of people that have been hit by vehicles when they haven't been looking in that direction or been hit by lightning, had gravity affect them, had illness pass through and catch hold of them. You can bet your bottom dollar. These are things that people are not seeing but are absolutely hurting. So, you start with the simplest rule, okay? And that is right here, right now, this is the only time in existence you can get anything accomplished. Okay, hence why I use this list. Now, on my list right now, Okay, I've got the journey to do, okay, which is what we're recording right now in live recording, meaning when I get done, I simply go back and double check the, the date that I did and double check to, to make sure I got the date right. Apparently, we're going to have problems today, okay, at least as far as speech goes. But I go back, double check the date, and then post it as is, including all the hiccups, all the stumbles. All of that. This is a live recording, so I just do not. I just don't go back and edit anything. Okay. But today, I will get this done. 
Then I will start wrapping up the Christmas decorations and what have you. Because in three days' time, and it's an arbitrary time, really. See, at the beginning of December, I came to a realization. In order to accommodate my goals for next year, I have to start planning now. So, starting with, starting with finances, because that's where your household runs. Okay, all houses run that way. And when I mean all of them, I mean your finance, which, by the way, money is not a problem. Money is simply another form of barter. But every business runs that way. Okay? That's the way it operates, is barter. It's changing one service for another. Money is simply an agreed-upon method of doing so. Now, why one country has a has money that is worth more than another is no there's no understanding for me to that one. Okay. To me it would be so much simpler to just go one hour's work, you get one hour's pay, and it's always the same pay because let's face it, milking a cow in Canada or milking a cow in the States or milking a cow in England or milking a cow in, in you know, in uh, Australia, you're still doing the same thing. It still takes you the same amount of effort. It still takes you the same amount of work. Okay. But, any way you look at it, in order to accommodate it, the household finances, what runs the business, household, small business, as in store, grocery store, farm, whatever. Okay. Running a church. Running a spiritual guide, a sort, a spiritual guideline of any form. Okay, running a country, a country, all require a focus on finance. Now, I've never been materialistic. Well, that's not entirely true. When I when I bought my first crystal ball years ago, okay, I got very very possessive of it. But aside from that, and that, that wore off after a couple of years. Other, after that, you know, if you ignore that, materialism is not my strong suit. Okay, I do, however, recognize at this point that you have to pay attention to where your finances are going and what you're doing with them. To that end, starting at the end of November, I decided that I would cover from December to November to figure out what I had to work with as far as, as far as gifting went. Okay. And that, I've gone through that before, but figured that out. Now, because I need, I required in my eyes a specific date to start with, on the 1st of January, which, by the way, is only three days away, on the 1st of January, I am starting to implement this idea that, yes, I know, I just covered your camera. There was something on my screen that I didn't like. Don't know what it was, don't care. It was in my way, it's gone. Starting on January 1st of 2022, okay, I will be having one meal at the table with the only son I have living at home. Turn off the phones, turn off the games, Turn off, you know, whatever. Turn all the electronics off. You know, as far as social media goes, talking to the phone, watching TV, and we are simply going to be all sitting at the dining room table talking to each other about the things we've been going through, the things we desire as individuals to, to accomplish. This is the time to really talk about what you're planning to really reconnect now like you i've been very reticent in doing this reconnection in spite of knowing that it has to be done okay prior to that i am wrapping up the like starting today i'm wrapping up the the christmas gifts or not christmas gifts the christmas decorations so this little munchkin behind me will go into storage until next year. Okay. And this list that I've got together. This list that I've got together. Is going to be. Is being put to work. It works for me. And I can suggest. I can only suggest. 
you give it a shot. If you haven't, if you've been having trouble getting focused, this would be the time to do it. Now, this morning, I got up at about three o'clock, I believe. Yeah, about three o'clock this morning. I was up until about six thirty. Went and laid down again. Because apparently four hours of sleep was not enough, which, by the way, I absolutely agree with. I worked that out a long time ago, and I have not been sleeping well recently. But am I doing all right? Yes. My blood pressure, my weight's dropping again. Even though sometimes I feel very sluggish, part of that is because I haven't been doing the exercise I know I require doing. But... That was called really, really bad digression. Okay, so if you like our video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and please share it with everybody you can. Because the message I return to give, you know, to pass on to every entity in existence, was, or more to the point, is that working together, we can make this a better world for most people. But that requires the assistance of most people. Now, you don't have to believe what I'm telling you. Do your own research. Okay, I have noticed on Facebook, you know, on social media, I have noticed that more people are, are passing on the word of, you know, this is something somebody's done. Now, I saw one the other day that I was absolutely pleased with. Okay, uh, yesterday, I think it was where somebody literally pointed it, showed a video of somebody. You now, everybody talks about, oh, there's, very, you know, there's people out there living on the street, and, you know, I wouldn't give them any money. They're out there by choice, etc. But they, you know, somebody caught this on video. Somebody was driving along, spotted a, spotted a homeless man, stopped their car, and it was a decent-looking car. Oh, okay. Got out of the car and handed this homeless man, this woman gets out, and hands this homeless person not a dollar. Didn't give him a plug nickel. As near as I can understand, maybe maybe she did. But the thing that it did show was she took the coat off her own back and gave it to this to this individual that was living on the street. Now, there's any number of reasons he could have done that he could have been there. And it would have been just as easy for her, like so many others, to just drive by him. Or throw him a couple of dollars. You know, I've got a quarter in my hand. Here you go. I can afford that. Okay. This is wonderful. But I'll tell you, seeing that happen was phenomenal. And I think in all fairness, I think it was the, the video, although I saw it just the other day, I think the video was actually posted on Christmas Day. Now, that is what, as a matter of fact, come to think, that's exactly what it was. Okay, because, to me, that is Christmas. Those that have extra, sharing with those that don't. Yes, many times people are, are in trouble because of their own choices. Okay, Lord knows I've made enough mistakes of my own. At least I think I've made enough, so I'd like to stop making them. Thank you very much. Okay. But we all make mistakes, but it's up to each and every one of us, and especially those, well, no, scratch that, not especially anybody. Okay, it is absolutely imperative that those that have the surplus assist those that don't. Now, I do not mean turn around and deprive yourself from having a basic life. Okay. What I am talking about is taking your surplus. And this is why I started off with the idea of where the finances are. I worked it out again this morning. And I can comfortably live on $2,500 a month. Okay, that's covering all of my expenses. However, I'm still dry striving for more. Okay, but the catch is I put that $2,500 boundary in. Okay, and when I hit that boundary, everything over that 2500 I will take all of that and put it aside. I will, well, more to the point, I will take 10% of that and put it aside. That 
Okay, now, for me, it's a very simple issue. You can do what you will. This is just a suggestion. But, if you require, regardless of how much money you've got, and if you've got a lot of money, absolutely enjoy yourself. This is why, although I can do it, I can do it on just shy of $2,000, but, you know, as far as paying utilities, rent, or mortgage, if you have that, you know, my insurance, my medical, my, my, you know, my entertainment, and a little bit for savings, I can actually do it on 2000 But because of the fact that I desire to have a little bit of surplus myself, I am I have put my own boundary at 2500 So every time from here on, when I hit that 2500 10% of everything after that will go into one account, you know, into one place, and just be stored there until next year. Now, with that in mind, bearing in mind the boundaries I've set for myself, by next year, I should be able to bring you to put aside a fair chunk of money, which I've decided for me, I will take that whole 10% of whatever comes in over 2500 per month. So some months it may be a lot, some months it may be only a little. But I will take that and put it into a bin. Then I'll break that into 12 parts. One of which will have everything around it that doesn't divide equally into five into five dollars will be put into the same bin, and that bin will go into my savings account for my retirement. That said, the others one one bank because I'll split it into twelve. One will go to me. One will go to actual food that I will purchase. Okay, and I have a very simple way of looking at it. You know, and I, I will simply purchase that, as was pointing out, it pointed out to me. If I take that and that money and turn it over to the food bank, okay, they can get to the people that require food. Now, if I give them food, that saves them. All the food will go there, and absolutely, I've heard horror stories where, you know, where some of the people working in these places are putting themselves first and taking the taking cream and the crop of the food. That's okay, I'm not planning on buying, you know, Rob and Lobster Rockefeller. Or, you know, or, um, Duck, um, what's it called? Duck L'Orange. I'm not planning on buying these kinds of foods. But I will take that, I will buy your basic survival needs and put it in the food bank. The other ten, the other ten divine pockets will go to people that I run into on the street, in the mall. Okay, and don't get me wrong. With the, what I'm talking about, the amount I'm talking about, I will not be going down, and if I know somebody is a drug addict, I'm not going to go give them a couple of hundred dollars. I'm, go I'm going to be targeting what most people call the working poor. Those people that are out there, they're doing their best, they're trying to get ahead. Okay. And, you know, and who knows, I may find somebody on the street that they're just there because of happenstance. Not everybody on the street is there by choice. I mean, technically, yes. But ask yourself this, and I've seen this happen. If you're constantly getting abused, and I don't mean you're having to follow, uh, follow the rules. I'm referring to if you're constantly getting beaten by somebody you're living with. Or if you're constantly being, you know, quite literally sold off for somebody. Okay. If that's happening, this is, you know, if you're constantly having to deal with drug addiction that somebody else is doing to you. Okay. These are good reasons to leave the home. The home is supposed to be a place of security. But many people end up on the street. Because they they don't have a viable choice. Sure, they could stay home and get beaten every day. So it is their choice to leave. Okay. But people like that, there are people out there that are really decent people that are stuck on the street. I remember running into one young lass. When I met her, she was actually living on the street. Now, the rally behind her was... She was getting beaten daily, and I don't mean a spanking because she was banished because 
she was a, a bad person. I mean, she was getting beaten daily because her parents, and I don't honestly recall if it was one parent or two, but because they had their problems, they used to beat her. So she ran away from home, and when I met her, she was living on the roof of a school. Okay. She, you know, she didn't have any money. She didn't have an income. And in all fairness, I mean, never asked her what she did for a, for, you know, to get money. Okay. But I did get to know her as a person went. This same person ended up getting herself off the street, living in, to start with, subsidized housing. Right. And she dealt with the ministry and the whole nine yards. Today, to the best of my knowledge, because I haven't seen her in about a year. Of course, I've been left the house in about a year. Maybe two. But, last I knew, she was living in a, in a, in a normal house. Right? She was renting. She had a kid. She was lady. She had a boyfriend she was spending time with. But she had pulled herself out of the bottom and put herself on track. Now, there's an old saying that man is judged by the height to which he, he climbs. Well, the reality is, from my experience, it is more a question not by the height to which he climbs, but man is gauged by the height, by the height to which he climbs from the depth of which he descended. Now, I've been in pretty bad shape over the years, and the reality is my bad, my bad shape is probably nothing compared to what many people have gone through. But it was bad enough for me. Okay. And I have figured out that the only way I'm changing this is to make a conscious effort to do so. To actually get a plan together. And this, again, is one of the books that I'm working on. But for me, success boils down to this. Okay. Belief plus focused effort equals success. Okay, and this funny little sign over here, this wooden one, says, I am worth it. That is my motivation. Okay, now I do have a young lass down, say, I'm up in Canada, and I do have a young lass down in, down in the States that I am intending on marrying down the, down the road. In all fairness, we've never met, we've never actually, actually physically seen him been together. Like, we've never even been physically in the same city, never mind the same country. Well, that's not true. I was down in the States before, you know, years ago, right? She was alive. I didn't know her at that point, but technically I was in the same city. Right. But we have talked about it, and I have every intention when we get her up here. God knows when that will be. To actually marry the young lass. But it doesn't matter where you're coming from. Because here's the kicker. Everybody, everyone that is, if you look similar to me, i.e. two legs, two arms, a head, a torso. Okay. Regardless of your skin color. Regardless of whether all of your organs work properly. You're still the same. We are still equally, uh, you know, of equal value. Okay, and the amount of, of your pocket, the size of your pocketbook will not determine anything. Okay, other than whether you can buy more stuff. But in case you hadn't noticed, Christmas itself is not about the stuff. It's about the feel. Now, in my opinion, it's extremely important to turn around and really, for those of you that have the ability to assist others, do so. That is your one responsibility. Okay. And what I mean by that is karmic law. And these are the only three laws I work with. Be true to yourself first. Do unto others as you desire them to do unto you. And energy out, energy in. So, you know, if we take a look at that, like I said, I've got this $2,500 starting point. After that, I start working on the other side. Right. Now, why do I do that? That's because I am, you know, I'm a firm believer this is what you, what should be done. Okay. And if I'm going to tell you this is what should be done, then in my opinion, it is only right that I do this. 
Now, we look at the government. Government say, you know, government and many people say you've got to have a balanced budget to move forward, which is right. You do. I absolutely agree with that. The only problem is a budget only works if you have a definite amount of money coming in. Okay, ballparking gives you guidelines. But if you track where your money is going, what you'll find is you can make much better headway. So get your office worked out. You know, get it straightened out so that you can operate comfortably in it. Okay, and work from there. Get the finances in order. The way I look at it, I should be where I desire to be on a real bare minimum. I should be where I desire to be by the end of this year. I've given myself a lot of room by the end of 2022. I've given myself a lot of room to bring up because I'm going way below where I, where I desire to be. And things can get sour pretty quick. But I got myself into this. I know exactly how to get out of it. You know, there are people I've I've made commitments that were supposed to be for me, but I found by making these commitments to other people, as in I'm going to reach this point for me, and that's the only commitment involved, I will, you know, it will help. Well, it does to a degree, but for me, I found out that telling somebody this is where I'm going to get to, and then somehow letting myself believe that I'm now obligated to make that point to make them happy, created a bigger problem. I'm no longer interested in creating bigger problems for me. Okay, I do have goals in place. I've got my office working where I can work through it really nicely now. And this is where it starts. So you get that organized and then you start moving forward. The list method works for me beautifully because it gets things on track. And enables me to actually see that I'm getting things accomplished. But I have to stay focused on it. And so do you. So I am going to ask you to join me on this journey. Absolutely join me in striving to, to make this world a better place for everybody. Well, virtually everybody. Okay. Now, where it comes to your religious practices and what have you. Do what you will when you're done with your with your religious practices, with your group gathering, group gatherings. Uh, okay, and that may well be over the internet at this point. This may be video con connections, but when you get to that point, okay, once you've done whatever it is you require, join me on this journey to really focus and let's make 2022 the best year we've had in centuries. Okay. Now, people have told me telling people to get to get along is like starting a cult. So let's get at her. I'm quite, this is the first time in my life. Well, actually, it started a little while ago. But as I've been doing the journey, it's finally dawned on me that this is a point where I will quite readily step into the spotlight and go, this is what is required. This is what I am doing. Okay. And I am asking you directly. Join me on this journey. Okay, subscribe to the channel. Spread the word to everybody in existence, whether they have internet or not, whether they've got access to video. Take the message to them one at a time. Together, we can make this a better world for virtually everybody. So absolutely join me in doing this. I will be back together and back to talk to you tomorrow. But until then, take care of yourselves and each other, and for pity's sakes, stay positive. We'll try that again. You know, take care of yourselves and each other, and for pity's sakes, stay positive.